Boy Scouts today. You know, Mr. President, nice to see you again, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. David Thompson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. Hi, good to meet you. Yes. Mr. President, it's good to meet you. Melissa Miranda. Mr. President, it's good to meet you. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Melinda Ramirez. Hello. Nice to see you. Ben Love. Yes, I was nice to see you again. Alan Lawson, Director. Hey. Nice to see you. Where do you want me to stand? Present to the president the report there, David Thomason. The president will receive it from you, I think. <laughs> special concern to you. Yes. And these are all those are your membership cards for you, Mr. Reagan. All right. Well, thank you very much. And Dave Jones here has a little memento of scouting that we'd also I like to give you. I have a great pleasure of presenting you. Well, I think they really want to turn it this way so they can <laughs> see it too. Yes, sir. Yes, that's very, very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, incidentally, just a few words. Thank you. And uh, just a few little souvenirs of your, <laughs> your presence here. Thank you. I think I'd better start with the ladies. They didn't get wrapped up like the others did here. Now, Thank you very much. Sir? Can't wear these with your uniform because they're tie bars. Which <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, pleased to do it. Pleased to see you all again. Thank you, Kevin. Well, God bless you, and we have you very much in our prayers. And hope that the good Lord will give you all the wisdom and the strength of leadership that the country has had in the past six years. Well, Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for those kind words, and thank you also for the invocation. I appreciate it very much. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your pictures. Thank you for the picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Thanks, man. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Chairman, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Brad. Thank 
supposed to be doing in addition to the man on the hats of air. First, let me just say I'm very grateful for your willingness to do that. And I know how much time it has taken and it's required you to abandon a lot of your own activities, I'm quite sure. But uh, in today's meeting, uh, before we start, I, I know we'll be talking about the development and implementation of our initiative with Iran. But before we get to that, I wanted to take a few moments, if I could, to share my thoughts concerning how the NSC staff should operate. I know that every president... Mr. President, how are you, sir? Certainly a pleasure to meet you. This is my wife, Joanne. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, now, why don't you, before you step out, why don't you use this? It's a very nice picture. Very nice. This is Al Wilson. Yes, Mr. President. Our drug program. This is Judy. This is Judy. Wilson. Why don't you get the picture? Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, we want to do this once again. The Maxwell Football Club is a club in Philadelphia that's celebrating its 50th anniversary. And for that occasion, we have casted this medallion, which has Tiny Maxwell in one a, a picture, and Bert Bell, one of the founders of the National Football League, in the other. And as our number one citizen, as the president of our great country and our great president, we want President Ronald Reagan to have position number one, and that's for you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Since it's a, a football club, and, but I have it maybe because I was a right guard. <laughs> <laughs> we all watched the, a lot of the movies of the football days of the past, and uh, we're very pleased to be here with you. I think you're aware we have our FAD program, which is our drug program in Philadelphia, yes. which we're doing a lot of good work in, and, and uh, we, we feel so good about your interest and you and Mrs. Reagan. Uh, the interest that you've shown and say no to drugs and that's exactly the direction we're moving in say no to drugs and work with young people well i think it's great i was going to mention that you hadn't brought it up i know what your what your club is undertaking there and what you're doing and i think it's just great thank you sir to you. it's very nice to be here with you we're delighted we have another little present for you which you might want to wear the next time you play golf or tennis or something of that sort it's a shirt that has the FAD logo, Fight Against Drugs, and the Maxwell Football Club. Well, thank you. And you're now one of our members, and we're delighted to have you as such. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm pleased to honor myself to be here. Thank you. Pleasure. Didn't get any medals. That's because you were alive, Mr. President. Don't even back to the old. Uh, I, uh, I had a chance to prove it. Okay, and get rid of us line and could carry that. Yes, sir. Well, there was any question about that. Uh, Al was the head football coach up until this year for 10 years at Delaware Valley College up in oh. Doylestown, near Doylestown, Pennsylvania. He's now the athletic director. But more importantly, he's going to be the executive director of the FAD program. And with that in mind, well, I don't think I'm one of the not president, so they're not president. Yeah, Thank you okay. Okay. They're okay. I'm sorry. He's right. With that in mind, Mr. President, I wanted just to announce to you that Smith, Klein, and French Beckman in Philadelphia, a major drug company, has recently, as of yesterday, made a major grant to the Maxwell Football Club FAD program for $500,000 for us to embark on a national FAD program, Fight Against Drugs. In, in using our chapter philosophy and working with kids seven, eight, nine, up. Get them when they're young, while they're clean, oh, yes. working with clean people, and working up the ladder that way. I think and I great. wanted to announce that to you. Sir. From Nancy's experience, you may find some of those very young ones. There's no question about that. That's yet. exactly where we have to go. She came home one day having had one in school, eight years old, not only a user, a pusher and wearing a beeper so that they could get hold of him when they wanted to make a buy. Mm -hmm. and he was oh, in class. Yeah. Eight years old. Terrible work. Well, I have a few souvenirs here. I'll do souvenirs for the office here. These are bookmarks, so you have to read something. Oh, thank you so much. 
Jen from Kiwi. Thank you very much. Mr. President, President, thank you very much. It's a real honor. We're delighted to be with you and be here today. Thank, thank you. you. We're working real hard on our drug program to support what you advocate in all of us. And we'll win this one. All right. Feel good. Yeah, I, I always say that the first time I see you every time you look great. <laughs> and, I, and I continue to pray for you every day, sir. Thank you. I have to believe in that very much. Thank yeah. you. You look great. Must be working. <laughs> <laughs> and has his writing? Uh, just yeah. fine. Great. You've been in California for a few days. I really been by yourself. I got a little chill in to you back here. I know how it feels, but I'm not liking Paris. Mad about that. That's why I should get mad about that. <laughs> well, they say we, we enter in the order of senility. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even older than you are. No. I was here first <laughs> in the office. Don't look forward to that. project has been underway since 1985 when it was first suggested to members of the Congress that they should pass a joint resolution that would be declaring 1987 as the National Year of Thanksgiving. The purpose is to create an attitude of gratitude in America for blessings of life and liberty and the world's oldest living constitution. The NYT project received broad national support Boy Scouts of America passed a resolution of support and will be distributing Thanksgiving proclamations to local government officials, to trade associations, schools, and places of business. The General Federation of Women's Clubs will be incorporating the NYT theme into their various projects and programs for 1987. And the Bicentennial Commission voted unanimously to grant official recognition to the project. Saturday Evening Post will be sponsoring a nationwide essay contest entitled, We the People, Give Thanks. And in the fall of 87, there will be groundbreaking for the erection of We the People Thanksgiving Monument, which is modeled after the Christie painting in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol Building. That's enough talk. I think it's time to start writing on